taking a fit uh, interest in the sports polo. Now, the prestigious sports has grown remarkably over the past few years and is included in the A-list events to be attended. Captivating celebrities, businessmen, women and sports fanatics, a day at the event provides an incredible networking space. But what makes this pastime so distinctive? Ahead of the African Cup Polo Tournament next weekend, we chat to Harold Ewa Dako Jr. is one of the players from the Ghana team to share more on the event. A very good morning to you, Harold, and good welcome. To you too. How's everything? Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the participating teams have, announced, have been announced and include a stellar player lineup. Uh, talk, uh, talk to us about them. Um, so far this year, I believe that they've invited Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Ghana to participate in this tournament. There are other South African local teams, but I'm not yet sure of who has qualified because they're still playing playoff rounds okay. at the East Rand Polo Club. Okay. And there are a few women players in the sport, but is this changing this year? Um, I'm not too sure who's participating in terms of the females, but I do know that they are up and coming. A lot of people are coming to play nowadays, especially the women. A lot of them are participating and breaking boundaries, breaking through the glass ceilings, as they say. Yeah, and uh, having evolved over the decades, females have had their mark on the field. And as we've just said, they've managed to uh, break that glass ceiling. Precisely. But uh, how effective has that been, though? Well, I guess if you have a, a, a female polo player playing and being showcased, obviously a lot more women will be encouraged to participate in the sports. It may increase the amount of uh, females playing because already in the, in, the, in the sports sphere, women aren't often seen to be playing a lot of polo. So I guess it's very encouraging for the sport to have more diversity okay. in terms of the, of the genders. But in your country, is there a high number of polo in, players playing on a recreational basis or is it more on the professional basis? Uh, back in Ghana, there are more uh, recreational polo players as opposed to the, the professional polo players. That's, that's more because there aren't that many uh, uh, patrons, as we call them in polo, who can support the professional polo players. But it's up and coming. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating that it will increase as, as the years go on. Okay. Yeah. So do you have any facilities or clubs that help to groom and nurture, uh, yeah. especially women polo players? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the, the clubs are specific to grooming female players, but they are for whoever wants to come and play. Okay. It's welcome to all. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the players from Ghana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Nigeria and Kenya will converge at the club uh, and compete against South Africa. Who are the defending champions and who do you think uh, will, has, has more advantage over the other? Well, presently, I believe the defending champions are the Inanda Club. And because they are a South African team and they have the home support, I'm anticipating that they will, have the, they will be the most likely to win. Or they are, the, they are the underdogs. Whereas the international teams are more of the underdogs because they're flying all the way from abroad to play on new horses, a new atmosphere, a new field. It's a whole new experience. So they have to acclimatize and adjust for, to all those changes. So you don't think South Africa has a home ground advantage? Oh, they do. They definitely do. Yeah. They definitely do. But the, the teams from across the world, across the continent, wouldn't come all the way here to want to lose. So they'll definitely put up a fight. So when the teams from the other countries come uh, and, and land in South Africa, how long do they take in practicing and uh, you know, just to familiar, uh, familiarize themselves with the, with the surroundings? Well, personally, I can't speak for them, unfortunately. But personally for me, We've been playing this tournament for, I've been playing for five years, but our team have been playing for 10 years. So from the experience I've gathered, I think you need a, a good two weeks to practice, get used to the weather, the changing sunny, the changing cold, changing winds. You have to get used to everything, get used to the horses. So that when you're going on the field on the D-Day, you know, you know what you're in for. All right. Harold, yeah. thank you, man, and all the best. Eh? Thank you very much. You too. Well, the interest in the sport of polo is increasing in the country, many thanks to Harold Ewadako Jr. Uh, he's a player from the Ghana team sharing more on the Africa Cup polo. All right, let's go for an ad break now.